Hey, how's it going? Um, my name is Josh. This is Heather. Hi. Uh, we are y'all's missionaries down here in Lima, Peru. We're sending greetings from our living room because um, just like the rest of the world is right now, we are on lockdown. And uh, we really wanted to be with y'all, Pastor Edge, um, y'all there at Crestwood Baptist. Um, but uh, God had other plans and we had to take an emergency flight back here because they were shutting down the whole country. Um, the borders are shut down. No one's in. No, no one gets in. No one gets out. Um, and uh, so we had to get back if we were going to get back. Um, so we've been here for a couple weeks now here in the house on lockdown. We can go to the market and get food, but that's it. And uh, I'd imagine y'all are going through the same thing there too. So um, but I wanted to send a video um, to y'all just because uh, we felt bad for not being able to get there. Um, not being able to uh, be with you all. We were so looking forward to getting able to meet you, being able to meet you all and uh, getting to be there with you all. But we just wanted to send a short video. Uh, present a little bit of our ministry, of who we are. Uh, we work here in the International Baptist Church, the Iglesia Bautista Internacional, in Chirios, Lima. Um, Lima is a city of about 10 million. Normally has horrible traffic right now. There's no one on the street, so it feels like a ghost town. It's really, really weird. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's um, looking out and you can hear birds and you never hear birds here and you can hear the ocean and it's right on the ocean. So it's just weird to hear the ocean and not traffic. Um, but uh, it's a giant city. It's very populated. Um, there's a huge need here. Uh, we work in the district of Chirios, which is a district on the south part of the city. And uh, there's about 330,000 uh, people here in Chirios. Um, so there's never the uh, opportunity to say that we didn't have someone else to witness to, we didn't have someone else to reach. Um, there's always someone else to go after. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a privilege to serve here. Uh, we serve side by side with a uh, Peruvian national pastor, Denis Yonto, and uh, we get to serve in the church there. We're in charge of the Jovenes, uh, we're in charge of the choir, um, Sunday school, the visitation, um, the uh, Heather's in charge of ladies. Um, everything that goes on there. So um, we stay busy and uh, we stay, um, we uh, keep ourselves busy. Uh, just a couple stories of different families that um, just different, um, different people that you all have made it possible to reach and to help grow um, through your support. Uh, there's one family that, that works side by side with us. Um, it's, uh, his name is Alex and her name is Maria Rosa. And uh, they work side by side with us in a lot of what is teenagers. And um, they, uh, they had been coming, she had been coming for three or four years, and he recently started coming about a year ago, a year and a half ago. And uh, after about six months of them coming faithfully, the two of them, um, he came up to me one Wednesday night after a sermon I preached on eternal security. And uh, with questions about it, he had gotten saved, but was still doubting the, uh, the security of his salvation. And uh, so we invited him over to our house. Um, Heather and I stayed up until about one in the morning talking to him. And uh, that was really exciting. Um, watching them, watching it slowly sink in and watching, the, um, watching, watching them start to understand. And then that Sunday night, um, they actually came forward and they got baptized. They got assurance of their salvation. They got baptized that Sunday night. Um, and it was just a blessing to watch God work in their heart. Um, they help with us, uh, you know, all of the hoveness, um, the teenagers. And uh, all it is, those ministries, and um, they're such a blessing to us. Another family that uh, we had the blessing of being able to reach um, is Jose and the Ladies Leal. And uh, they are a Venezuelan family. But we had one, um, one Wednesday night, I went out and uh, was able to see two teenagers, two young teenagers, and an older man saved. And it was actually Jose and the Ladies' two sons, but they never came to church. We invited them, they never came. Uh, a couple weeks later, we were there at the church, and the guy who was supposed to stay at the door and watch the door wasn't able to make it, and uh, so we got stuck there, kind of watching the door, inviting people as they came by, and uh, we usually have a soul winning time on Wednesday nights, and so um, they came by, and uh, we invited them, uh, he and his wife, Jose and the ladies, and they ended up coming that Sunday, and a couple weeks later, they got baptized. And they are active soul winners now. They're going out, they're reaching other people. Um, they're going through a discipleship program. And uh, it's exciting to watch them grow and to watch all that's happening with them. He is actually an artist. Um, he draws caricatures. And it's been amazing to watch him. He now draws every single week um, a, a, a drawing for the kids to be able to color and the kids to be able to, um, to have that for their Sundays. 
Um, so it's just such a blessing to watch what God's doing in him and how he's using his talents to serve the Lord and uh, how he's, he's turning around and helping other people. All of that's possible because of y'all's support. Thank you very much for your love. Thank you for your support. Um, even without us having been able to come there, uh, we look forward to sometime soon being able to, uh, being able to be there with you all. But um, thank you all very much for your love, for your support, and uh, we pray for you all. We look forward to being with you all in, at some point in the future, and we'll have to schedule a trip, just uh, a special trip just to be with you all. But I uh, just wanted to make this short video, um, say thank you all for all that you've done for us. Keep praying for us. Um, just like the rest of the world, we are uh, locked down right now, not sure what the future holds, not sure what God has for us, but we're excited to see what God does through this time and uh, how he ends up being glorified at the, uh, at the end of this crisis and um, how he shows himself strong, just, just like he always does. And we're looking forward to the revival that happens, not just here in Peru, also in the States, also in, all over the world of people now realizing their, their need, now realizing their vulnerability, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing what he does because of this time. Thank you very much. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Um, take care. Thank you, Pastor.